Now we're on to Lake Auburn. Uh, we're back with Victoria Lake expert Jeff Byrne of, Byrne of uh, Cabin Fever Sporting Goods in Victoria. Uh, let's talk about this lake on the west side of town. Uh, what can you tell me about Lake Auburn? Well, Lake Auburn is unique and that actually has two parts to the lake where the access is on the west lake is the lower part of the lake and then over by the Dairy Queen on the um, east side is the upper lake. That has a small amount of residential housing on it, otherwise it's surrounded by the Three Rivers Park District. Uh, one really unique thing with that lake is that in 2005, uh, the Minnesota state record bass was caught out of that lake. It was 8 pounds 15 ounces. We were fortunate enough to weigh it right here. Uh, a gentleman named Mark Raveling caught that fish. It was in the fall of 2005. Uh, the bass fishing is very good in that lake. Northern fishing is good. Um, it's crappie fishing it is so-so. Uh, most of the crappies are in more of that four to a pound range. But on most of the years, we actually do very good on the bluegill fishing. The bluegill fishing is mostly done on the upper lake or the east lake right along Highway or County Road 11. Uh, there used to be a, uh, there's a Murray even church over on that side, and that's where they do most of the bluegill fishing. Crappies are mostly caught right along the residential area, right along the docks. But the, the state record bass was actually caught on the upper lake as far as we know. He hasn't said 100% for sure, but people that saw them out fishing that day, that's about where they saw that fish being caught. So did that uh, catch bring some serious notoriety to the, the quality of available fishing in Victoria? Or Well, it, it, the, it was good and bad. What happened that fall is once people found out that the huge fish was caught, everybody migrated out to that lake. It was a beautiful fall that year, so they fished it a lot, and unfortunately... There was some good catch and release fishing, but then there's a lot of people that kept a lot of the fish out of there, and there was a lot of four or five pound fish that were hauled out of there. And as long as there is a limit of six that you can keep, but generally bass are, are noted for throwback, kind of more of a sport type fishing. But yeah, the notoriety of that fish in there has really created a little bit more of a stir out here. A lot more people have come out to fish that lake uh, that, not, that had not done that before. So it is a very good bass lake. Uh, on the west side of the lake, it also has a ski course on there. Um, that ski course has a private permit. Um, if, the, if the course is up, you can, of course, use that. Um, it does have a public access on the west side of the lake. Uh, there's bathrooms there. There's also a fishing pier next to the access. And then across the lake, there's actually a campground that splits the two lakes, which is a, it's a really neat campground because being so, so close to the metro area, you can come out and use it. People can still take their kids to sporting events and still come back and stay there that evening. So it's very, very clean, well kept up by the Three Rivers Park District, and there's also a beach there. Fantastic. Thanks, Jeff.